Hey everyone, Proper Jeremy here, and yes, you heard that correctly, Proper Jeremy is back! Alright, what's up everybody, Proper here, and today I am doing a little bit of catching up as I have been on vacation in Tennessee, and uh, one of the things that I wanted to react to at the time, but I just never really got around to having, I never really had a chance to sit down and watch it because I wanted to make a reaction video of it. I wasn't in a place to do that because I am on vacation in Tennessee, as I stated earlier. So without further ado, this is going to be Ryan Johnson's Knives Out trailer. Uh, I don't really know how this is going to go, I haven't really even seen anybody's reactions to it. I've managed to avoid all of that nonsense, so I'm going in with an open mind, knowing that he did, unfortunately, make The Last Jedi. But this is outside of that, and my opinion going into this, I am not okay with him being involved with Star Wars any more than he already has. I didn't even like what he's already done. But with his outside work, that's a little bit of a different story to me because it has nothing to do with that. So I'm just interested to see where this goes. So without further ado, um, let's see this. No, I'll just view it on here. Without further ado, uh, yep, we're all good. All right, here we go. I'm Detective Lieutenant Elliot, and this is Trooper Wagner. We just want to ask a few questions. We understand the night of his demise, the family have gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. How was it? Uh, the party? Pre my dad's death? Hmm. Oh, it was great. Okay, then. Ooh, let's get out. Ladies and gentlemen, stop, stop. I would like to request that you all stay until the investigation is completed. Alright. What? Can we ask why? Has something changed? No. No, it hasn't changed, or no, we can't ask. I'm gonna live mm. till I die. If one of his family killed, is that what you're suggesting? So they're all supposed I'm to just stay in there until twisting the knobs and one up your ass. Oh, very nice. Matter of oh, fact, my God. eat shit. No here. How's that? Eat nice. shit. Eat yeah. shit. Eat that shit. Smug smile. Definitely eat shit. What? I'm gonna fly. I'm freaking sick. I don't know if that was really. Oh, my God. Spill something. Spill it. Ever. Are you done? I suspect. Foul play. Okay. I have eliminated no suspects. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna be It's a twisted way. We are not finished untangling it, not yet. What is this? CSI KFC? What? Huh. This was... Uh, hmm. I don't know. It just seemed really... How do you say it? Just kind of... Cartoonish? Is this supposed to be a film that's supposed to, you know, be scary or just like, oh, who is it? Who's the killer? Is it going to subvert our expectations? Oh, it's Frank Oz who's supposed to be in the movie, but we don't really see him. Maybe that's it. it maybe he'll come out in the corner going like, <laughs> that's something that I would probably expect at this point. Um, I, I hated all of Chris Evans' lines. It's, it just, no, it just... Just, hmm. It's kind of like, I kind of felt Ryan Johnson uh, g um, kind of, uh, um, I saw Ryan Johnson through Chris Evans and his lines of just like, yeah, yeah. oh, and you definitely, yeah. I, I could see him living uh, vicariously through him, especially through those lines with that smug look on his face. 
You know, I just, that's just what I really, that, that's the impression that I got from it. Um, but, uh, I mean, the cast is fantastic. Uh, I mean, just great. I love uh, their work in other movies and other TV shows. Um, Catherine Langford, I didn't know she was in that movie. I love her in 13 Reasons Why. Uh, Christopher Plummer was in that one movie that Kevin Spacey was supposed to be in, but then wasn't. And got an Oscar out of it, which is awesome. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, Chris Evans, Daniel Craig. You know, I mean, this is a really a star-studded cast. I don't know. I just don't know about this. Uh, you know, this is a classic who done it. You know, this is what they're marketing it towards. Kind of like the game Clue. I'm really getting a Clue vibe. You know, that that board game. Uh, but anyways, uh, I hmm. It, yeah, it just seemed a little bit too cartoonish, and I thought it would be it's more of a straight-up horror film, but that's not going to be the case. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I don't know about this. I'm, I'm probably not going to go see it, but that's just me. That's just how I'm viewing it based on the trailer. Uh, that's just something that you know wouldn't normally interest me, but actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should go see it just so nobody else has to. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, what did you think of this trailer? Uh, do you like, do you like it? Do you not like it? And why don't you like it? Is it because of the reasons I said or something else? Is it because you refuse to see anything that Ryan Johnson will ever make? Is it because, you know, people who do like what Ryan Johnson has done, especially with The Last Jedi, will you go see it just because it has Ryan Johnson's name on it? I mean... It seems as though he's trying to associate himself with all these big actors, you know, throwing his name into it and all, all that fun stuff. But, you know, I, I know now that I see that he's written and directed it, um, now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I thought it was just something he directed, but now that he wrote it, um, eh, probably just wrote it off because of a game of Clue and Colonel Mustard, Chris Evans here, <laughs> just was the one that won. He did it with the butter knife in the closet. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's been a long time since I played that game. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you all very much and have a great day.